thank you everyone for attending tonight. Um, first thing we'd like to do is uh, ask for uh, a declaration of interest. No? Okay, can we just ask you all to confirm that you're not subject to the party room? Okay, thank you. Uh, any apologies? Okay. Thanks, Chief. Okay, item number two minutes. So you've all read. And we can actually receive the minutes from the last meeting. Please? Thank you. So next is our future council presentation. I'm going to invite Mike Carroll. What Mike's going to do is, as I was with, give you the notes on the uh, proposals for how they're going to work, scrutinising the budget options. So what we'll do is we'll give you the reports, and then we'll invite any questions or comments from them. Okay, thanks, Chair. Um, we should all have a look to you uh, uh, very quickly. Uh, those was um, circulated to um, Families and Wellbeing Committee also last week and will be also circulated to the Regional Department next week. The purpose of that note was is we just to sort of review what happened at the meeting of chairs and party spokes uh, on the 3rd of September. And that was a meeting for the board and the coordinating committee on the same evening. And this meeting was um, convened by Council McLaughlin, chair of the coordinating committee. Really, uh, for the chairs and party spokes to agree a way forward with the um, approach, consistent approach across all committees to scrutinise the budget options for the future council. So, just to talk you through the notes, it sets out, section one just sets out the purpose of the note um, covers. Section two just uh, highlights the fact that at that meeting there was um, some documentation circulating. <coughs> Uh, of a scrutiny review undertaken last year, it was actually November, October, November 2013, and that was a review of the budget options undertaken by the Regeneration Environment um, Committee. And that was used really just to inform the discussion because that was an example from last year of the kind of approach that was taken um, to inform the discussion of the meeting. And so section three then goes on um, further down the page just to take you on board that um, example from last year, a uh, proposal that was put forward uh, for how um, committees should uh, consider scrutinising budget options. And so I'll just go through that just briefly, that's section three, there's a series of bullet points and um, this really follows the uh, regional environment approach last year, which was uh, a task and finish approach, the kind of standard approach to uh, scrutiny reviews being undertaken. And so the proposal is that uh, for the scrutinising the budget options going forward, the task and finish approach is adopted, with uh, the three party reforms committee setting up a scrutiny panel to review the options that fall under their remit. Each committee is to determine the number of members on its panel itself and the number of sessions required depending on the number of options being considered. Uh, an initial scrutiny meeting being set right at the outset to look at the objectives for um, the review really and the approach being taken, the methodology uh, and the, um, who the panel would like to scrutinise, whether that be uh, council officers or other advisors or whether you to conduct site visits or that kind of thing appropriate. Um, the panel to determine the preferred approach and methodology one of the things that did come up in the discussion really was that last year when Regeneration Environment did their review, there was about five, I think four or five meetings over a quite concentrated period of three or four weeks. And so one of the things for consideration was whether this is better dealt with as a, maybe a full day, a full day, or maybe just two sessions just to maximise um, people's capacity really rather than how to come back to it for a whole series of different meetings. But that again is sort of a call for each of the committees themselves to determine in terms of that scrutiny meeting. And um, the cabinet needs to be invited to observe sessions and in line, finally in line with all task and finish group work notes to be taken and a report with recommendations to be taken back to full committee in November for discussion and approval. Over the page, section four, is really just a, uh, an account of some of the discussion points that were raised uh, in relation to members on the panel and um, and also the, just the 
to uh, approach um, the number of review sessions, but those things that I've outlined earlier uh, in, in the bullet points of the previous page. That approach was endorsed at that meeting, and then uh, later on that evening, the coordinating committee, there's a draft in it now printed, and that approach was endorsed the coordinating committee, with the resolution being the, the committee support the proposals, and also um, that the notice of the meeting be uh, held on the 3rd of September, uh, be set for all members of these uh, four committees for information. Uh, so I'll finish there. Okay, thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, just, just to endorse what Chris you said that we really adopted this approach with our task and finish piece of, piece of work on the bedroom tax last year. It was a really productive and, and really, uh, I thought it was well thought out sort of template for future pieces of work. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is invite questions and comments from members regarding what Mike's just told us. Okay, thanks, that, that was uh, really helpful. We got that sorted out. Yeah. 
Any, any further questions or comments on that one? Okay, we move on to the next item. What we thought would be useful for new members and actually not so new members is if Joe was to uh, enlarge upon what transformation and resources directors actually is, what we cover, the areas we look at, and the implications for the budget options. So Joe's going to present the report and I'm going to invite members to make comments or ask any questions after he's done that. Thank you. 
departments from Salter to Clear, uh, this we are seeing in, uh, in responsibility for our financial services, including financial management, financial planning, uh, advisory control, uh, personal risk management and insurance as well in the organisation. We have internal audit responsibilities, uh, it's clearly we can feed into very much into the audit risk management committee. We have um, our information technology service, and we're pleased that we now have a, a, a permanent uh, information uh, officer who I'm sure will be provided to come in with the industry of course. Uh, he's due to start uh, on the 1st of October, um, uh, Michael Samet. I give our responsibility for all of the IT support for those within our members, particularly the concerns which uh, they have. And then finally, we also have our procurement and payment service, actually, there's a piece in terms of our, uh, our payments and our process of payments as part of our uh, uh, performance this evening. So that's, that's what we do, I guess. The, the, the focus of our attention really is around elected member support is about finances, is about resources, is about ensuring your qualities and is, is valued for money, but also is in the most, most, most uh, effective way. Uh, we do try and maximise the opportunities of the new technologies that, that we build in. Uh, we do take responsibility for overarching uh, the corporate financial uh, management strategy in terms of ensuring that our, our medium-term financial strategy um, does meet the challenges of the corporate plan that we uh, set as well. Um, we do take seriously our, our responsibilities for our residents uh, to ensure that they do receive the best possible service, be that face to face, be that by telephone or, 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 or by uh, new technology. We are equally as conscious of that, how we have direct contact with so that how we ensure that what we do uh, enables a user and the rest of our service departments to, to provide the best level of service possible. So, so with that, Chair, apologies again for, for not having that one. Slide screen. Uh, just want to give a quick run through, as I say, particularly for some, for some newer members, but I don't know if any of the members have been on this business. Thank you, and that's helpful to me. Um, just before I invite questions or comments from members, I'd just like to go back. Uh, apologies, what I should have put to the group is that with regards to our scrutiny and budget option, would the group uh, accept the recommendation that Chair, Chair, Vice Chair, and Spokes meet? But we could sort of agree the sort of nuts and bolts of the work that we're going to take with that. We accept all the recommendation. Okay, thanks. Um, so, have we got any questions or comments from members? For Joe? Tom?
we do as a group is just very comforting for this sort of help. Yeah.